All right, guys. Yeah, we are on Greston Drive, taking taking it into Santin, just to see how things are in Santin. Um, just to see how people are dealing with the lockdown in Santin. How Santin has responded to the play uh, to the president's pre for people to stay at home. This is Greston Drive, going into Santin. Just look how empty this road is yes when i talk about santon you will know that that's the business hub of south africa and that's where all the business at in johannesburg so you would also know that uh, going to such an area would uh, call for quite huge amounts of traffic at all times but not for today that's not the case today that's not the case today. In Santa, it's a ghost city now. Wow, look at that. Not even a single car on the street. Getting into Santa is like getting into a ghost town. Uh, you would see some people moving those are employees of a certain uh, business going back home no transport of course so they decide to stroll slowly by foot wow while in Johannesburg there's quite a number of residents that stay right in the CBD that would not be the case in Santin though uh, because when you look into Santon, uh, you would notice that uh, not really so many people stay in the city center. And you would see that one would expect not to see a lot of people out, either going for shopping or anything else. But yes, this is Santon. We are on Catherine Street now heading inside the city this is South African lockdown Johannesburg day number two and we are heading for Santin just to see how the people here are responding to the call of the president to stay at home and try to fight this uh, disruptive disease that is causing a havoc globally causing a havoc putting the whole world at its knees yeah it's some of the times that we will remember for so many days this that has happened today or oh, this uh, during this uh, period is one of those days that we will remember for the rest of our lives saving our rainbow nation when you look at the the street screen here it's urging people to take an initiative to save south africa this is santin it's almost like i'm the only one strolling around santin yeah, one would not be surprised given the fact that it's only a main business hubs. You can see all these big offices here, the buildings for all those big of uh, companies, Sasso and Bedvest and all those kind. You would expect them to be at home because they're not really critical um, in uh, operation. Their employees can still work from home. They don't need to come in here. And that's the vicinity around here. So one would expect to have this mood, this ghostly town-like mood in Santon. It would not be surprising. No presence at all. No car moving on the streets. There is the American Embassy. Yeah, and one would expect what is happening there. Not 
even a single car in Santin, apart from the security cars. This is serious, guys. Now, imagine having to go 21 days in this kind of somber mood. What is this going to mean to the economy of the country? Right now, we need to be alive. But the worst is yet to come. The economy breakdown. This is serious. There's only one person that I've seen in Santin so far. Walking. The rest is just the security personnel and security vans. And it's completely empty in Santin. Look at that. Given the stature of Santin, uh, the fact that it's a business hub, not so many people reside in the city center. It's not really so surprising, but it's scary when you think about the aftermath of this whole conundrum. It's empty in Santin. All you see are either employees that are working for some sort of companies and uh, some vehicles that I would uh, deem to be Uber and security personnel. So thank you South Africa for abiding by the rules and uh, playing your part in helping the president fight this disease. Let's hope it doesn't come back to bite our medical systems which would be devastating. This is Santon for you guys. I'm on Rivonia Road going down and you would see at the how train it's closed. I think people are stranded for transport there. Yeah. This is real guys. This is real. And it's so scary. Yeah. Yeah. streets are completely empty in Santa. Scary. What is going to happen to the economy of the country? No one knows. You and me, no one knows. But right now, I think it's all about us surviving and the rest will come. This is Santin. The streets are completely and utterly closed down. Closed down. The city is on a total close down. No one moving. time you will see people around is when they're carrying food plastic bags which means they're either coming from the shops to get something to eat or the supplies but that's not the case in Santa not so many but it wouldn't be surprising since we all expect the people that work in Santa to be the kind of people that can work from home. That's the stature of the city.
this is something. Tab tabu. It's not tabu time. a very trying moment that South Africa is going through not only South Africa but the whole world it's a trying moment when you look around and look around and someone tells you that this is Santin a place where mostly a rebro vibrant feel stays and they tell you that it's the same town that you're looking at right now one would argue that no that's not Santen but it is Santen it is Santen people are listening to the president's call to lock down the city of Santen all businesses are closed only visibility you would see from people is the security personnel. The city is on total lockdown. Wow. How the tables can turn, my friend. How the tables can turn so quickly, my friend. How the tables can turn so quickly. This is Santa. How the tables can turn so quickly. This is a vibrant Libro City. A city that welcomes any mind. all on lockdown day two South Africa lockdown and this is the tour of Santin it's been 13 minutes tour of Santin just to show you how things are in Santin yeah but it's not surprising at all that this is how things are that this is how things are in Santin Things are really, really serious. If we don't do anything, if we don't help the president, if we don't help our medical personnel, the situation is not going to be lenient with us. So thanks to you people of Santin. accepting to stay at home and play your part in helping South Africa survive this threatening and trying time trying moment caused by this destructive virus whatsoever no movements whatsoever all you see is security personnel that are still strolling around the town but everywhere you go it's completely empty in Santa. Day 
day two South African lockdown, Santon City tour. 15 minutes. Not a present vis uh, visions coming from Santon. Yeah, this is how it looks like for you so that you don't have to leave your home to come see for yourself. The American Embassy is just right there. But again, that's it, guys. That's it, guys. That's it. That's it, guys. We've been here. Talking, uh, we, we, we're taking a stroll around Santon. And we've seen it. Oops. Empty. Completely empty. Completely empty. Yes, we fought against the disease. We're trying. But now there comes the hard times. But I think, I guess, we will worry about that hard time when we reach to the bridge. We will worry about how to cross that bridge when we get there. Right now, let's see how we cross the first bridge, which is here to wreak havoc. That was our two hour something. And uh, we've seen it. Wanted to take you to the street, but I don't think there's any point. It's all the same. Everywhere it's empty. No people on the streets. It's a dying moment. It's a trying moment. It's terrible and it's real. And if you don't do anything yourself, no one would. Because all we can do right now is to break the chain. And the only way we can break the chain is break gatherings of any sort. And that's it, guys. That has been something for you. If you want to see more cities, in South Africa, you can leave a comment below, and that will be only in Gauteng. Please leave a comment in the comment section below if you want to see more cities. I'll take you to the tour of those other cities. For now, peace. I'm out.